Some students with higher level social and emotional challenges require support beyond the typical school environment and might need to attend what's called a special purpose school. Here with us to discuss is Justin Chinette from Sweetser. Justin, thank you so much for coming in today. So tell us about a special purpose school. What is it? Absolutely. Well, there, as you mentioned, there are students that need some extra support, extra help. They might need a trauma-informed therapeutic environment where staff can actually respond to crises, have crisis stabilization if needed. Um, so our K-12 through uh, special purpose school is to really help with the full range of behavioral, social, and emotional, and mental health needs of a student. And so we work with school districts and families to figure out what's best for the student and really developing an individualized plan for them. So students Students are actually sent by their community high school and they when they graduate their diploma is actually from their community high school so there is no difference there but they're getting day treatment as alongside of their educational experience so they're on a path towards hope and healing while they're getting that educational experience well so why would students need to go to a separate campus yeah. well some students learn differently some students heal differently right um, and so to be surrounded by behavioral health professionals to be able to to have both that educational component and that treatment component is so important. We also have an experiential learning program where students really get hands-on with the trades. There's an automotive program, there's a culinary program, there's a working farm, they get to take care of the animals. And to really see the students really light up when they get to those hands-on experiences, it's not just about learning, it's about their healing journey. So there, there's a therapeutic aspect of those hands-on experiences that you're not gonna get in a typical environment. And again, you're gonna be supported by a full range and, and team of individuals that's going to help you move uh, your therapy along and your educational experience along. Yeah, so jumping off of that point, mm -hmm. um, how are you able to blend that mental health element mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. also make sure that students are getting the education that they need? We, we sort of blend everything that we do with how can we best assist that student. So again, coming back to individualizing your educational experience, everything is through the lens of sort of a trauma-informed sort of best practice. So as a behavioral health organization, we're able to weave in all of our programs and services alongside their education, which is so important because when you're learning in a classroom or you're out working on the farm or you're uh, learning the culinary skill sets, all of those things come into play. And you know, to see a student light up and they produce like a bottle of maple syrup. We have maple syrup production on site. To see them tap the tree, boil the sap, and actually produce something tangible at the end of the day, they feel a sense of ownership over their treatment. They feel a sense of ownership. They're, they're not just a number on a spreadsheet. They're a real person at the end of the day, and the staff genuinely care about them and their success. And to see success stories later in life, we have former students who are now successful small business owners, and they've started their own lives with their own families. And it's just really neat to see the fact that when they cross that graduation stage, they are like, you know, now I'm going to be successful. I'm going to live happy, healthy, and successful lives. All right, Justin, thank you so much. Yeah. On the screen right now, we we have a number if people want to learn more uh, about this uh, special school. This is a really amazing program. Justin, we appreciate you coming in and sharing this with us. Thank you so much.